Good morning everyone, this is Shayla. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm doing um, a flip through of my newest junk journal. I have to say that this journal took two years to create because I started putting pieces together for it last year and I don't know. I just didn't feel like finishing it for whatever reason. <laughs> but this year I was determined to finish it. Um, before I start going through it, I used a lot of uh, things that people have sent me and swaps. Like on this cover, this tag here was actually from a tag flip book. And I have a few of these inside. Um, I'll, and I'll point those out that I didn't make, but I add them to this journal because they match the color theme. And I always like to share what I get because otherwise it just sits in my boxes and it doesn't get looked at. Um, this was a really fun uh, project to put together once I got going but for whatever reason if you're a junk journal if you're even a crafter you understand sometimes you just get in that mood where you just don't feel like doing anything and I've had a lot of health issues lately and stuff so I just wasn't in the mood but anyway um, I just wanted to get this journal done and I think it came out really really pretty. I used a, um, a two ring binder which I got at a thrift shop and it measures about six and a half this way by seven and a quarter or it's opposite I can't remember <laughs> and it has like a one and three quarter spine and um, inside I have three three this is three no this is three <laughs> three pocket pages 15 pages uh coffee dyed pages so it's like 30 pages in total if you count front and back and two tag pages and um i wanted to add more to this but once i started decorating i did have to take some uh pages out because it started getting too chunky and i didn't want it to look like oh my god exploding <laughs> okay so I have it tied together with this pretty lace trim that I found in my stash and it's not attached it comes apart so so on the front cover here I use some of that Thule stuff I have a couple pieces of that. That was really hard to glue down, let me tell you. It's not an easy thing. Um, I did manage to be able to get it to stick to the cover with this uh, this kind of glue. This is like for fabric and lace and leather, all kinds of trim. All kinds of uh, materials, I should say. So on the front cover here, I have this tag which someone had sent me. Um, and she sent me this beautiful tag flip book. Oh my god, it was gorgeous. And like I said, I used some of her tags in here. I used some of these uh, flowers that you get at Hobby Lobby. Um, a lot of the elements in here I got from Hobby Lobby, the Dollar Tree, or Michael's. And I, if I remember where, I will let you know as I go through this book. These little uh, flower gems here, that's what I call them. Those came from a swap that someone had sent me. And I think it's the same person who sent me this tag flip book. Um, I put a piece of lace trim down here. And behind the flowers I have some of this thread. And this is vintage thread. It comes on a spool like this. And I have several different colors of this. And it's really heavy duty thread. I don't even know what they used it for, but I don't think they used it for regular sewing. But I found boxes of these at a, uh, in a box that I had bought a whole bunch of uh, craft items. But anyway, so I've been starting to use some of that behind some of my elements because I've seen other people do it. So it's not my original idea. <laughs> then I have some of these uh, gems, the dots here on the cover. And then on the side, there's this little... There's this little plastic pocket. I just stuck a couple of tags in there. And then I put this little element here. It says, have a wonderful Christmas. And then I used a piece of scrap lace. Another one of them flowers. And this lace flower here actually came on a strip. And I just cut one off. 
And then on the back, I added another one of those tag pockets. This one's a tag pocket, but it's from the same lady. Because on the back of here, it had a, like a... a like marker stain I guess I don't know what it was I couldn't get it off so I used a piece of cardstock to cover that and I put a piece of this trim this trim is really pretty I think I got that at Hobby Lobby but she made this one into a pocket and all I did was add this flower here in the corner and she had one tag this tag here was in it and this I forgot the name of this paper collection but um it's really wonderful and i used some of these and my uh last year i made three mini mini journals and with that paper collection and these elements also come with that paper collection i just can't remember it right now but here's a couple of extra little journaling cards and some extra tags and things that i just stuck in that pocket all right so now let's go inside now on the front and back covers, I made pockets, and I used some more of that trim, and the ribbon trim, and then this lace, and then I added a ticket, a glass flower with a, a gem in the middle, and then these flowers here, I think these came from Hobby Lobby. And now here's a couple more items from that, that tag flip book. I just love that that collection and then here's a couple other tags now what I did with these tags I just added this little corner embellishment just to spruce it up a little bit so it wasn't that plain and then this uh, actually I have a couple of um, um, if you are familiar with pocket letters they're like uh, cards that are like two and a half by three and a half inches and you decorate them and, and you swap with your friends. Well, this came in like a pocket letter type thing. So I just added uh, some of this pink burlap behind it and glued it down. And then I used some three-dimensional stickers. And then here on the inside, I don't like to leave the spine plain, so I, I used a piece of scrap paper. Then I added this lace, and then these flowers. And these flowers, too, I believe came from Hobby Lobby. Okay, here's the first pocket page. And someone had gifted me these uh, library card pockets and these little bags so I've been wanting to use them so all I did was decorate the outside and just decorated it on here on each page I, I sewed a piece of lace down the side on this one I added some of that uh, Thule stuff behind there, a piece of cardstock first, then some Thule, then a piece of material, then this pocket tag. And then I added some uh, sticker gems and things like that. And then each of my pages have these, uh, what do they call these, hole protectors, eyelets, and they were white, I painted them. I didn't paint them. I colored them pink with my markers. Now here's a couple of tags. This tag, um, all I did was add a backing to it and then this little corner cluster here. This actually came from another uh, pocket letter, I believe. And look at how cute that is. I just love that color. And this, I actually, this is another um, swap item that I received. And here's another swap item. And on this one, all I did was add a piece of pink cardstock behind it. Okay, why is it that every time you go put things back, you always have trouble when you're on camera? <laughs> it never fails. Okay, and each of these pockets has a huge tag. Um, you could put photos on here, or you could add some more, um, like journaling and stuff. Let me turn this around. Okay. 
and then on, on the back side is another area for writing or put photos um, each page is coffee dyed and I have a stamped image on each side and I left them blank so plenty of room for journaling here's just a little tag cluster that I made And like I said, I try not to, to decorate too much because it was already getting bulky. But I use uh, green and red ink. And I tried to use all different stamps that I had. Just to make it more interesting. Here's another pocket page. And in this one, I used one of the bags. And what I did was I only glued this side here so I could make a tuck spot behind it and inside the bag is a tag that I made I really love how this tag came out so that's in the bag on the front of the bag is another one of those uh, pocket letter tag things that I got and all I did for here was just add this little uh, holly leaf in this um, gem and I put a piece of lace behind it. And then on the side here, I have another one of those uh, pocket letter um, artist trading cards, you call them. I added the back uh, paper, and then this came in a pack of an ephemera. Oh, my kitty cat is meowing. She is so funny. She doesn't want to be bothered or held, but when she can't find you, she cries. Alright. Oh, she's going to have to cry for now, because I'm not going to stop filming for that. Alright, and then... Okay. This tag I decided to decorate a little. I'm going to just leave that out for now because I'm taking up too much time. On the back here, I left it mostly blank and I just added this little <laughs> holly jolly thing. I love this little dangle. And I just put a little, um, some bandage stuff I had behind there. Here, I have a Christmas tree, well, a tree paper clip. Now this used to be a little uh, paper coaster and I peeled it off the first layer and then I put uh, two layers of cardstock behind it and then I added a little flower cluster there at the corner. And then again I did some stamping. Now here's one of the uh, uh, tag papers uh, tag pages because I didn't have a lot of room to keep all those pockets so I decided to take a couple of the tags and just poke holes in it and then use that as one of the pages and for pictures or for whatever um, whoever gets this journal um, here's uh, another bird I love, I have tons of stamps because I, I collected them from going to thrift shops and stuff. Okay, here's, I think I only had three, yeah, three. Here's the last pocket page, and I really love how this one came out. <laughs> I just love, that's my favorite. But all these elements, like this one and this one actually came on a, um, an embellishment box that someone swapped with me and I just peeled them off and glued them down here's another one of those paper flowers and I put behind it a piece of lace I got one of these uh, tickets there and I, I used some thread behind there and then um, I added some what do you call that Rick rack and some yeah I even added some on that tag but here's a couple tags I made. I think that's so These came out. This one I really love. How that came out. 
Um, this I printed out, cut around it, and then just added it to a piece of pink cardstock, cut it around again, and then added it to this tag. And then in this pocket, ugh. I was amazed that I had some uh, washi tape that sort of matched the tickets I was using. <laughs> so that's what's in there. And then on the back, this one is another one of those uh, um, tags from that flip book. I just love, I love these little pom-poms at the bottom. And then I just added a couple pieces of eph ephemera. Merry Christmas, a vintage Santa, and then one of these little cards that said winter. Because like I said, I didn't want to bulk it up too much, but I wanted to add a couple extra embellishments. Here's the other, <clears throat> oh, don't tell me you got stuck. Dang it. Big is right? Okay. Another one of the tags. And I just made like little corner embellishments. I love them tag. I love the pink and the, um, what do they call that? Mauve? I want to say mauve. I don't even know if that's the name. But I like how the contrast are between them two colors. And then some more pages. I just love it. And then in the back, another pocket. Same idea of decoration as in the front. And then two more of these lovely tags. I just love that. Isn't that cute? And she used some like vellum paper. Very pretty. And then this has some dangles. I love that. Ding, ding, ding. I just love, 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 love. Alright. So there you have it. That's what's on the inside. Oh, come on. Alright. So. Oh, I have to fix those. <laughs> I'm trying to close it. <laughs> Alrighty. So. Uh, let me know what you think about the journal. Um, if you have any comments or questions, as always, just put them down below. And if, when I see them, I'll try to get to them as soon as... I can. I usually check a few times a day and uh, let me know what you think. If you have any comments or questions and uh, if there's something you want to know more about, just let me know. And uh, as always, thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, if you aren't a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. And, um, let's see what else. And I think that is all. Um, I want to thank you all for your support and thank you for visiting today. And I hope you have a wonderful Sunday and thank you so much for watching.